Did you know that according to the Atlas of Childhood Obesity of the World Obesity Federation, the number of obese children globally is estimated to be 150 million in 2019? Environmental factors influence childhood obesity. Let's look at an example of two kids living in two different environments and how this can affect their weight. Meet Alex and Sean, 8-year-old identical twins, separated at birth. Alex grew up in the downtown core surrounded by fast food restaurants. Whereas Sean grew up in the suburban area surrounded by athletic facilities and recreational centers. Their day-to-day -day lives varied greatly. Alex takes a school bus to school every day. Alex buys pizza from the cafeteria for lunch. After school, Alex munches on his favorite chips and watches TV. Alex does his homework after taking a nap. As a treat, his mother often comes home with ice cream after work from a local cafe. He then eats dinner while watching TV. As there aren't any local recreational centers, when Alex has free time, he brings his iPad out and starts playing games. Sean, on the other hand, walks 15 minutes to school every morning. Sean's parents pack a healthy lunch every day. When he has free time, Sean attends basketball practice at the nearby YMCA where he is part of an intramural team. He spends 30 minutes watching television, then eats dinner with his family and goes to bed. Five years later. In the last few decades, obesity has become increasingly prevalent among children and adolescents. Since 1975, the world obesity rate has tripled. A trend towards increasing obesity incidence is expected to continue in the next couple of decades, according to the World Health Organization, thus urging the importance of intervening with this global phenomenon. Society, and specifically schools, are both looking into implementing more preventative measures to help lower the ongoing rate. With obesity, there are many health complications, ranging from mild to serious, including problems such as diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure, breathing problems, and more. Now, how did they end up here, and what can you do to prevent this for any children in your life? Let's rewind. The lifestyle factors associated with Alex are very common amongst obese children. Alex's diet has comprised mainly of fast food, which is very unhealthy. His poor food choices has resulted in him developing obesity. In fact, researchers speculate that a good diet or exercise alone are not sufficient to prevent obesity. Rather, these two must be implemented synergistically. Individuals who eat healthy and conduct voluntary exercise are more likely to avoid obesity as their energy expenditure matches or exceeds their weight gain. Close access to junk food has been heavily correlated with obesity. These include food with low nutritional value and high in calories from sugar or fat. Research shows that individuals who consume an unhealthy diet and are physically inactive will have an increase in obesity rate by 19.03% than those who consume a healthy diet and are physically active. Interestingly, screen time can also influence one's weight due to inactivity. When kids watch videos on phones or TVs, they usually snack and remain still, therefore causing a net increase in caloric intake. If this remains a consistent habit, as it often is the case for children, obesity may shortly manifest. Alex also spent most of his time looking at a screen. Studies have found that for each one hour increase of screen time per day, there is a 25% increase in obesity. This shows that there is indeed a possibility that exposure to television and videos may influence children to consume unhealthy food. Sean, on the other hand, was exposed to different environmental factors and hence he has been rather healthier due to the positive influence of his environment. In fact, a study found that when families eat together, they are more likely to make healthier food choices such as fruits and vegetables for dinner instead of sweets and sugary foods. Research shows that eating dinner together with family serves as a protective factor for obesity. In fact, every night that a family eats together, there is a 16% reduction in obesity risk. Researchers speculate that this is due to better collective management of diet among children by their parents when eating together. Without preventative measures being implemented, the childhood global obesity rate could exponentially rise to 206 million by 2025, rising drastically from the 150 million obese children today. Together, by becoming aware of these factors, we can implement preventative measures to mitigate global obesity once and for all.